everyone, welcome back to Amore Fabrics. I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. I am here doing the paper pack lineup for these uh, kits that I'm making, guys. So therefore, you guys, when you choose your junk journal cover, you will get a paper pack that is gonna be 60 pages. Um, it'll be for three signatures, 10, 10 pages per signature. How I'm doing this lineup um, is that I have this coffee dyed paper, well, it's not real coffee dyed paper. It is a uh, reproduction, I guess you can say, from Amazon. Um, each signature will have one of those per signature. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold up the three signatures, put them in each um, book cover for you guys, and the lineup is ready and done. So I have um, each kit will have three of those different coffee dyed style papers. You guys are going to have, oh, these are so cool. I had ripped up a very cool quilt book that had the most awesome quilts on there. I thought those would be great pages, don't you think? I do. I almost kept this one. I thought it was really cool. It has some light gloss to it, but it's gorgeous. So I made sure this paper pack, it's almost like having like a starter kit kind of thing where you'll have quilted pages, you'll have cookbook pages, you'll have graph paper, of course, music paper, children's writing paper, old ledger type type uh, book page, uh, sewing book pages, graph papers, of course, like I said before. I had made sure that I had also put in music pages that were a complete page. So when you do your signature, you don't have to have, try to piece up the paper or fold this in half. You just tie that in with one of your signatures, which is really cool. Um, larger music pages. Each kit will have one of these manila envelopes, uh, folders, which would be great also for dividers or just a cover for another book or the insides. I don't know, it's great for extras quilt block patterns, uh, maps. I'm still filling the map pile. I need, I have 50, uh, 50 kits. So um, I need 50 pages per each. So far the lineup is ready. I'm excited. My husband's gonna help me today. He was cooking. That's what the sound of that fan. So I'm excited. I do think I need to add a little bit more color, um, but I'm gonna do this lineup really quick. Um, I just wanna give you guys a sneak peek. Oh, I forgot before I leave. Uh, Grimm's Fairy Tales. I had ripped up a very old Grimm's Fairy Tales book. So each book, uh, you have a book page of each um, in each kit. It is so cool. I think it was the 1930s. I folded the page to make sure it doesn't crackle or anything like that, but it is a really thick page. Um, I really love this elf one here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So I, you can't go wrong with that. Anyways, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go put these book packs together. My husband's gonna help me, thank goodness. And we'll have these uh, pretty much complete. I just gotta get the embroidery floss and needle and put it into the pack. Um, I do like to still do a video. I do have some covers that I like to to play with that um, are need more fixing or done. I have a pile of those going on. Um, other than that, I think we're pretty good. I made some great uh, speed last night. I stayed up a little bit late to have some fun ripping pages and making this lineup ready for this morning for my husband to help me. All right, guys, I'm gonna get this paper pack put together and these kits are getting closer and closer to being done. I did order these really cool travel charms, which will be the gift with purchase, guys. I'm excited. So it's gonna be a cute kit. I'm, in, I'm having fun with this. It's fun to have fun, right? <laughs> Oh my goodness, to enjoy what I do um, outside of what I do for work. So, all right guys, I'm gonna go put this together. Have a great weekend. 